Hey folks, JD here, and today we're going to be looking at this. This is the Neptune Elegoo X FDM 3D printer. So let's start right back at the beginning. My wife wanted to get into 3D printing. She does a lot with clay, a lot of modelling. So she wanted to start cutting out her own making and cutting out her own um, clay cutters. So she decided that waiting for me would take too long for me to print out everything that, that she wanted. Uh, so she decided that she, well, she came to me and she said, what 3D printer should I buy? So I asked her a load of questions and then after looking for about five or six hours, I found this one and I said to her, look, I think you should go for one of these and she's got hers downstairs. And you know what? I was absolutely astounded with the quality that this uh, can print out at. It is far superior to my Creality Ender 3 Pros. Um, so I decided to buy one myself. So this is it. So I've assembled it because I've tried to do an unboxing many times with putting together uh, a box shape 3D printer like this. There's just not enough room in this office I've got. So I thought I'd run through the overview with you now. So right, let's go, let's go through some of the parts. You've got a one-sided attached um, small print plate over the over the back there. You've got nothing at the front. That to me was a negative, but after printing out a few things on this, I can honestly say it doesn't matter. The back is so well secured that it doesn't matter what you print on here. I thought it would have bowed, not at all. This is as safe as if you were to have, as I'll say my Creality Ender 5 Plus that has got the front supports. This is as sturdy, but obviously on a smaller level. When I first got this out of the box, it comes out uh, It comes out as the top first, this, this great big square here with everything attached. And obviously you've got to put the sides on and the bottom is all one as well. Now the bottom wobbled really badly. It was so badly bowed, I was considering sending it back. What I did was I bent it back slightly, but what I also noticed was when I was putting everything together, it actually bent itself back. And by the time I put in these four Allen, Allen bolts, here two and two in the back, it is actually 100% and now it's not... See, I'm shaking the table, but I'm not shaking... You know, the printer, the printer is sturdy. So just in case you get one of these and it is slightly off kilter, um, it is slightly bent at the back. The issue was this bar here right at the back was extremely bent to the point where these three uh, rubber bungs on the floor would sit nice and flush, but the back one wouldn't sit at all. It was wobbling really badly. When you make, when you, when you assemble the, uh, the, the, the cube shape, then that wobbling will stop. You've got a couple of a couple of conveyors on here. You've got two belts running down either side. You've got one belt, oh, one belt at the back here through the stepper motor at the back there. And of course, you've got your print, you've got your print belt there running down the middle. When you get this as well, all of this is pretty much attached. You have still got to attach this one side of the of the of, of the, the print head belt, but you do it with this tensioner. So you unscrew this, you turn it 180 degrees on itself, because when you get it, it's kind of attached up here. And then once you've done that, you can use this tensioner to tighten up this belt. And obviously, you don't want it too tight, but you do want it tight enough that, so that there's no slack. So as the print head starts to move, it's not having to take the strain out of the belt before the print head moves. So that that's, it's, it's, it's a bit fiddly, but it's, it's literally, you know, three or four seconds work. As for the bottom part here, all this is touchscreen. Uh, the thing I like about this printer, it's it's silent from the word go. There's no silent board upgrade. It comes with it. Very, very basic, if I turn it on, very, very basic assembly to the, um, to the touchscreen. Three options, printing, settings, and tools. Inside tools, you've got your preheat, your extruder, uh, as well as your, your heat bed. Uh, you've got your movement of the X, Y, and Z axis. You've got home. You've got leveling. Leveling is good. It's basically the you know the paper technique around the four corners in the middle. That's what you've got there. You've got your filament change. So it has got um, a filament attached to the side. So you push that. You can either um, and then the the extruder sorry will either push the filament in through the PDFE tube into the hot end or it will remove it. So it's easier for you to remove once the the hot end is heated up. You've got a mole button which gives you the Z offset. And of course, you've got the back. In settings, you've got fan, so you can adjust the fan speed. You've got the about, so that tells you your firmware version. 
you've got your uh, continue so if a print has uh, if the print has turned itself off power cut or if it's just failed you can try and continue it it has got resume i haven't tried that yet uh, but if it's anything like the ender threes it'll just continue flawlessly motor off you can turn the motors off language as well self-explanatory and if you've got the usb the usb key plugged into it then you can also have a couple of prints there as well that you can you can print now the test print you get with this is a buddha sitting on a lily on a little li, uh, li, lily leaf lily pad lily yeah lily and, uh with curly hair this is a very good print i was obviously because you've got the bobbles here it's very difficult to print you've got a couple of really nice sort of edges on it as well but all, all things considered that is immaculate and i put this next to my my end of five plus uh test print and i also put it next to my uh my creality end of three pro test print and this one comes out let me show you i haven't got the creality three one here but i have got the five now this five there's the five with the monkeys that's the test print for the five this is the test print for the elegoo now of course you've got a couple of years ahead of it uh, you know a couple of years old the end of five plus is and it is still an excellent printer. I did print this Easter Island head on the 5 Plus and it looks immaculate. Same as printing Bender on the Ender 5 Plus. Again, looks phenomenal. Uh, but again, the Elegoo, it just literally takes it to the next level. It really, really does. I'm so astounded with this. I mean, it's just flawless. You can't see the layers. It is so tightly knit. Everything is just lovely. And there's no rough patches either. Patches. There's nothing at all. It is so smooth. Uh, and that took... And it's fast. That's the thing. This took about 40 minutes to print. 45 minutes. Um, if memory serves. And it is quick. For every one layer of my ender. This is on its third. So it is twice as fast. And it's. Yeah. It, it is. Well three times as fast. It is an exceptionally quick printer. And it's accurate. The level. When you when you open up the uh, Elego Cura program. You can get it down to super fine. Um, and the resolution of that, what's that sitting at? I think that's sitting at 0 0.06 of a mil that you can print out of a 0 0.04 mil nozzle, uh, out of a 0 0.04 mil nozzle even. So that quality really is going to come out in your prints. So far, I've printed this and I've printed two other two other prints. One of them is for a customer, which is downstairs drying because I've painted it for them because it's for their cosplay. And the other one, again, is downstairs. Uh, but this one... The test I am so very very impressed with I mean it just looks phenomenal the layers look excellent so I'm very happy with that accessories you come that, that come with it in the pack you obviously you get you some you get some PLA you get um, your uh, USB cable if you should you want to attach it to your computer instead of using the USB stick you get all your tools your allen keys your spanner your screwdrivers you get your power cable kettle, your kettle lead of course you get your scraper and of course inside here you get your pliers, your little snips. So that's quite a nice pack. I did find that I had the exactly the same amount, of, the exactly, the exact correct, let me try and speak English. I did find that I had the exact amount of screws that I needed for everything. So if you drop one, there aren't any more left over. So just be warned. And that's it. The wiring is, ex is, is is so easy to attach itself to. I think for the price you're going to pay for this, this was I, this cost me three hundred and thirty pound. Now let's just run over. So the Creality Ender Three Pro cost me two hundred and seventy eight. Plus then I had to pay fifty pound to get the silent motherboard. So that's about two. That's about three thirty, right? Three thirty, three forty. This is three thirty, and it comes with um, a PLA um, detector. So once your PLA runs out. It pauses the print. Then you, you re for however long, you know, it could be four or five days. It doesn't matter. Then you just, you, you, you attach a new PLA and it carries on printing. So to have the filament detector, which I don't, I had to have that. I, I bought that as a, as an extra add on for my Creality's. That is worth the world. This does come as a good package. Silent motherboard, large design. It's 30 watts. Uh, the power supply is 30 watts less than the Creality Ender 3 Pro. And it comes with the uh, the PLA. Um, why can I not remember what that's called? Detector. That's it. So all that to be, you know, and it's faster. All that considered, 
this for me is a thumbs up. I'm going to be doing more prints and I'm going to be talking about this because I've only had this, I only had this one day, uh, two days, sorry. So when, um, when I've done a bit more printing on it, then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to show you all the prints and I'm going to do some side by side comparisons. But for the second, I am very, very happy with how this looks and how it, how it works. It's silent. Thumbs up. Well, the only thing that isn't, there is one thing actually, there is one thing that annoys me slightly. The fan. There is no cutoff. You can turn the fan down, so you, you know, obviously you can, you can lower the RPM, which is, is going to lower the sound. But at the same time, if it does need, if the printer does need to cool itself, it's not very advisable to turn the fan down. But the fan is quite loud in the base here. But that being said, that is the only negative that I've got currently after having it for two days. I, let's see whether or not I get any more because I, as soon as I've done this video, I'm going to go back and start printing again. I've cleared the bed down um, and we're ready to go. Oh, magnetic bed as well, by the way. Um, yeah, very, very good. I'm very happy. I think it's I think it's a very good printer. So, um, right. I think that's everything. As I say, I'm going to be back with a couple more videos of this in the next coming weeks and months. And we're going to have a little look and see how it's actually holding up as time goes on. All right, then, folks. Thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy printing.